I'm starting on the fuel tank cover. Well, I've already started on it because uh, I cut out the blank and I drilled it and the wing skins were off. And you basically taper clamp it in place and then drill from the backside so all your screw holes will be in the right place. So, but I'm going to finish it off and fit it. The stiffeners, I already made these back when I made the stiffeners for the top skin. I made eight of them so that I have enough for everything. So I've got two of them ready to go other than they have to be drilled and fitted. <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do though is these stiffeners have a little bit of bow in them and a little bit of twist. And I'm going to take that out because even though it's kind of minor, you know, this is a thin sheet of aluminum, and whenever you think something will just correct itself, you know, I'll, I'll rip it on there and it'll, it'll flatten out. It usually goes the other way, that it'll twist the other part. It's always best to try to get rid of as much air as possible. So this one, if I set it here, rocks end to end. It's got a little twist too, but I'll get rid of the rocking first. And this is going to be really high-tech procedure here. Just taking it across this edge and slowly, gently pushing down on it until we get rid of the bow. And that's pretty good. Now these corners are rocking, so we'll just give it a little twist. And you got to get past the memory of the metal. It's pretty close, but of course I'm going to give it a little more. There we go. All corners are flat. It's not moving. Excellent. So once I deburred the holes, I put the cover on the plane. And this is just so I can check to make sure that I've labeled it correctly and I have the right cover. Um, the other one's in fabrication too, so I could easily have labeled it incorrectly and then put all the stiffeners on and put it in place and it doesn't fit. And I don't want to remake it. So this is just my sanity check to make sure things make sense. And it does. All the holes line up. The labeling's correct. It says the nose is that way and this is the outside. So. Now I can go ahead, take it off, and I'm going to prep the back side to uh, get rid of the scratches and stuff. Now with the uh, holes deburred and check fit done, I'm going to prep the inside, the inside of the tank cover where the two stiffeners are going to, to rivet. Um, you know, it's got some scratches on it from the way it came from the supply house. They don't seem to care as much as you do about them. So, I'm also going to primer where the two stiffeners are going to go, so I want to prep it and make sure the paint will be able to do it here. And it's going to be easier now. It hasn't been dimpled. It's a nice flat surface. It's going to be a lot easier to do it now than it will be to do it later. So I'm just filling my way along for the areas that have something that's substantial enough to catch your fingernail on. And, uh, and then I've got some 220 that I'm going to take the scratch out with and then if after that I'll fall with this pad on a random orb or a little sander and just clean the whole surface So I'm going to figure the length out for these stiffeners. They're, uh, they're long right now. <clears throat> so this opening comes out to be just a little over 21 inches. So to, to give some clearance so that the stiffener is right not right up against the edge, I'm going to take an inch off of that and at 20 inches I'm going to cut them. And that'll give me half inch clearance per side. Alright, I'm ready to cut on the bandsaw, but before I do that, I'm going to put some tape on the back here. Because if I don't, it will tear it all up, and then I'll have some more scratches I get to remove. I'll just put a couple pieces on each side of the line. Oh, of course this one's not going to want to work with me. There we go. That'll work. And 
going to clean that edge up. So of course that produced a little burr, so I'm just going to take that off. That feels pretty good. So now I'm going to lay out the um, rivet holes for the end. So I'm going to come in 3 eighths of an inch just because it provides plenty of <coughs> room if this ever had to become a number 4 rivet. And then center it up on this, which is just at a quarter. We'll do that on all four corners. So then once all of the four corners are done, I'm going to punch these with a center punch. Do it on a hard surface come out a lot better. And then drill. So standard spacing for Bearhawk everything is an inch and a half, so I'm going to set the rivet fan at about an inch and a half. And then I'm going to see how close we come out on these holes. So this one here is just a little bit from it, so we'll just move it over. And I'm going to Coleco this in place. On our end holes. And take the marker and mark out all the hole positions. Alright, so I've made one of the stiffeners. I cut it to length, laid out all the uh, rivet holes deburr them all. So the only thing left on this one is to deburr the edges some more and dimple where the, uh, the rivets are going. But I'm not going to do that quite yet. Um, I will dimple it after I've laid it out on the skin. Alright, I'm ready to lay out these stiffeners on here. So first thing I need to do is divide this into thirds. It's a little under 44 inches it's about 14 and 5 eighths is a good third number so I've already figured that out I'm going to make a mark here from each side at 14 and 5 eighths I've already done the bottom I'm just going to draw a short line at the top where this is going to go so this is going to sit about an inch and a half in on the cover so there's some, mat some line marks to line it up with I'm going to check them because well, I always like to make sure things look correct so with a square yep it's nice. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. So, on these I put a center line mark. And I'm going to line that up here. And then I'm going to slide it in an inch and a half from the edge.
There we go. It's actually a little under an inch and a half. <clears throat> Line up the center line marks. And I'm going to drill. through the existing holes and the prickly go in. started attaching the stiffeners so this one here um, I've riveted it all on there oh, so it's good so here's the way I did it standard typical I guess way so I'm just going to click this down in a few places So it's all done. Stiffeners are riveted in place, and I'm going to put it on the wing. So that's pretty much it for the wing skins, inspection panels, the bottom cover. I don't really need the fixture anymore right now. Uh, next thing I'm going to work on is the stiffeners in the flap area, so I'll take the wing out, put it on the workbench to do that.